to close out the show. We have been teasing this for three months. I mean, three weeks. Shout out to y'all who stayed down for it. Shout out to the Twins. <sighs> Shout out to the Twins, man. 20, 25 minutes. It's 9 o'clock on a Thursday. Like we always tell y'all, we really put in work for real. <laughs> and let's get into it, man. Snowfall. Yeah. If you have not watched the end of Snowfall, if you need to catch up on Snowfall, please turn this show off. Um, this yep. will be the end of the show. So catch us um, the next episode. Catch us. Next episode will drop. We're not live. So, yeah. Catch us next episode. We appreciate you for listening. All our socials are in the bio. Yeah. Salute. Appreciate it. For sure. For sure. Man. <laughs> Man, what a so, show. So, what a finale. What a yeah. final season. What a show in its entirety. Definitely in my top five favorite shows oh, I've yeah. ever watched personally. Yeah. Franklin State might be my favorite TV character ever, to be honest. I have a couple, but he might be yeah. my favorite one ever. It's going to be real hard to knock Will Smith off that top spot and as for Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Yeah. Um, but, man, what a character. Yeah. What a show. What a cast. Um, I... Don't want to jump straight to the ending because I know right. you. I know you got to get some shit off. <laughs> I know you've been waiting to get some shit off. It's really <laughs> hurting me talking about Franklin right now. <laughs> but, but I want to start off with the evolution of these characters, right? Um, starting with the one Franklin, going from the obviously poverty struck in. Mm -hmm. um, Hood nigga, if you will. Right. Um, that was also a boy genius, and everybody knew he was a genius that was trying to make his way in school, got kicked out due to some racist bullshit. Facts. And had to figure out how to get some money and figured out yeah. how to get some money. And the progression of these characters from the way they talk to their mentality to their clothes from season to season was such a joy to watch because it's so um actors displaying emotion is so I'll say that differently. Actors displaying emotion without words right. is so impressive to me. And yeah. the way you could literally see Franklin's mentality, mentality change in his body language exactly. from season one to six was just a master class. And that goes along with Louis mm -hmm. and Jerome, Leon, all yeah. of them. Their body language, their, their aura of their character just changes. And I... Think that is a testament to the writing and mm -hmm. the actors being able to pull the writing off a page and bring right. it to life. Um, but just a f fucking amazing yeah. show. Um, what do you have to say before so, we really get into the last season? Of course, off top, Rip John Singleton, one of the best black directors. Oh yes, oh yeah, R.P. John Singleton um, pioneered this to allow this series to even happen. Um, but series as a whole so i am more of a tv series nigga than dale i will say like i will go back watch a bunch of ot like i seen the wire three or four times sopranos like all the old goat yeah. shows you definitely watch like you watch like tv over and over i don't do facts that. i will yeah. go watch a show and that'd be it yeah. like, I, I, like i watch tv series like niggas watch movies yeah like yeah, yeah. i'll watch a tv mm -hmm. season three or four times mm -hmm. in a row but I, I, what first of all, to echo everything you said, one thousand percent, the character progression throughout each season. But the level of excellence from every character we were introduced to, even the characters that didn't make it to the end, like my one of my favorite characters was Man Boy, didn't make it to the end, but absolutely cooked his role. Mine was Avi. I loved oh, Avi. Bro. So much. I loved Avi. And it, it was it was so amazing to watch where oh I, I kind of watch a little anime, so this is where I was kind of pulled that anime yeah. where in anime they'll it, every new season it's a new big bad. So they increase the power scale and they would do the same in Snowfall, but in different Good ways. ways yeah. Where you get to season four and Avi like a regular dude, like he the homie for real. Yeah. But in the first season, like you forget how tense. Uh. Uh -huh. And how scary the first uh -huh. season really was. It, uh, it's 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 a show that'll age beautifully for sure. It'll age like fine wine. It'll be something you can go back and you know rewatch. But we'll I, tell our kids to watch this. Like our oh, kids yeah. told us to watch Wire. And shit. Exactly. Yeah. And I I really think Franklin's probably man. Franklin's my favorite. Franklin is my probably favorite character across TV. Mm -hmm. Um. Man, the fucking ending hurts. So, so before we get to it, because I, I do, I do want us to talk about it before we get just like get to the finale. Like, so what, what were your some of your favorite seasons or moments? Or? Okay, so that's what I was about. I was about to actually do the same thing. Yeah, my favorite, some of my favorite moments. I don't, I don't have one, but some of my favorite moments outside of season six. I'll stay away from that. Um, 
One of the first that comes to mind is his very first time going to Avi's house. Yeah. I love that episode, and I yeah. love those scenes. The drug raid, Avi and his draws. Yeah. You see how much money they really make. Right, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Where is this money coming <laughs> from? They make him put the vest yeah, on. put the vest on. All of that. Uh, so that season, the um, the when they killed Teddy's brother... Off the coke, he overdosed later. They but force the, fed that they, nigga when coke. When they force fed him coke, it was so ruthless. And he yeah. was on the phone. He was like, "He won't fucking overdose because it's too fucking beer." <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, "He won't die. Shit. It's too cool. clean. This is crazy." Yo. Um, that is one of my favorite moments. The, uh, the first shootout. Um, I don't know if it, I won't say that. The one of these shoot, first shootouts. I, it might be the first shootout when they tried to set Scully up the very first time. Oh yeah, and he took the heroin and got crazy. And he was like, "What you doing?" He was like, "I need this shit to get ready, nigga." Yeah, <laughs> and he came yeah. in with that big ass gun, and mm-hmm. it was the first time Jerome had caught a body. It was yeah. like it was like one of the first real big shootout scenes. Facts. That was a crazy scene. The uh, season six, I stay away from because I got one from season six. Um, what else? Did, what else happened in that show? Because um, it was so many good ones. Um, the the season, I think it was season three. The season uh, Franklin was in a cane the whole season. Oh yeah, and he put it down the ladder. Oh yeah, after told, talking to Shorty, to let you know how they was gonna treat him with yeah. the cane. Like he was trying to. See. Yeah, Man, no. that episode was crazy. Yeah. The Shrooms episode where the wedding, I loved it. Yo, I Franklin loved it, put on yeah. a masterclass that yeah. episode and. Um, I feel like I have more moments. Oh, the first scene you get with Louie when she beat that bitch up. Yo. Yo. When she watching the show. We like, Louie, go beat this bitch up. <laughs> she watching the show, and they cut the commercial. She take her ears off. Yeah, no, nah, I, I love that. Excellent TV. I love that, um, bro. The, the ice cream truck man don't come through here and not give them food. It gave them the money. Yeah. Uh, that I episode. Think, so, so, uh, so my favorite moments, um, first is just to hit a couple. Um. So the Scully beef was one of my favorites too, I love that where shit. he survived the mm-hmm. shooting. He pouring alcohol on it. He's like, "Where the fuck, Franklin?" Say he said, "I'm a stone this nigga." I was like, Damn. Damn. And then the next season start, they set you see them set bro up, and he hung that nigga in the base. He really, he really hung that nigga up like Jesus. Man, I, I really enjoyed Scully character. Um, a lot of the Teddy, a lot of the, a lot of my favorite moments were like little character character moments that just showed you how yes. locked in they were to the characters, like the little CIA shit Teddy would do, like when they were at the standoff with uh, Franklin Dad and shit. Mm-hmm. And instead of having the gun like in a regular place, he had like a custom holster built into the door handle, like <laughs> yeah. like the little CIA yeah. shit there. But um, and of course the Franklin rants. At almost every oh. every single Franklin rant where they gave him anything any anything they gave Damson to cook on he absolutely fried. Whether it was after bro dad went talking and he was talking to them after the club about you know we got it and like peaches let's roll that was crazy. The more he pulled the car over on Leon that was crazy. Even the last season, but I think one of my favorite things that you saw throughout the series was not only how the characters change, but how the world and the background characters changed around them too. Where in the early seasons, you see kids running around, ice cream trucks, people, just regular people walking around. Later in the episodes, the streets become emptier and emptier to the point where season four, five, and six, damn near the only people you see outside is them. Mm Mm-hmm. Because that is how the community is, where people can't be outside mm-hmm. anymore. Things like that. So those are some of my like, you know, favorite uh, things to try mm-hmm. to show people. Another thing I like was in this. You saw more in season five and six was you saw the money started to spread through everybody. Yeah, like everybody you pulled up on that was had some part of some something to yeah, do with the bread, game. Yeah, you them and they niggas was dressed like they were supposed to. Yeah, it was in unison. I fuck mm-hmm. with that. Um, Something I love the progression of the guns because it was first it was just pistols and yeah. then the Uzi, Avi brought the Uzis and right. then the progressions of the guns was crazy. Yep. Also the the progression of the fashion that was I loved yeah. that how they started to it went from regular t shirts broke mm. niggas shit right white to beaters and Lacoste, shit polos yeah. um, mm-hmm. all of that shit that yeah. was cold. Julius with the chains he started wearing jewelry yeah, and hell shit yeah. the fur coats yeah yeah Louis too they yeah. they looked yes, like they, they had looked the, yeah and I and I love the the 
the way they wrote, I mean, Joseph, who is Jerome, the way they wrote his character felt like every black uncle ever. Yeah. And that was the beauty in him. Like, like you have shows where I hate Louis, or I hate Franklin, I hate CeCe, yeah. I, hate, I hate this, but I don't think you're running anybody that hated Jerome. You can't, because, it's hard, bro. Because he was such a, like, it was, he was one of those people that nothing ever really changed him. Like, he was always, right. like, I'm going to just do what my family doing, and as long as me and my family good, like, right. I got to do it. So, all right, let's I talk. what I got to do. We got to get, we, we, we tried to put off season Wait, six. Wait, one more question before season six. Your favorite character that's, your favorite main character that's not Franklin, and your favorite side character. You said man boy for that. So, yeah. who is your favorite main character that's not Franklin? I don't want to say Teddy, because I feel like that's that's real on the surface, but... It would be Jerome, one thousand percent, because um, Jerome, like you said, nothing really changed him, and I really felt, especially throughout the show, especially the later. That's why how he went out was so it was written so perfectly because so perfect. he from the start was really just trying to do right by his family for real. Yes. He wasn't. The money didn't motivate him. The mm -hmm. respect didn't try to change him. Like, he didn't care about... He really just wanted to do right by his lady and do right by this kid that he, that he raised. raised yeah. That he raised and now has turned into this multi-millionaire. <laughs> like, and I, I definitely think that Jerome probably... Yeah, mine yeah. would be... So, if it was If I didn't have to... If I didn't already say Avi, it would be Avi. Right. And then it would be Scully. Um, would be Scully my second. Good, my, yeah. I, both of them were yeah. my two favorites. Scully's progression and was great. Was amazing, and the and the big dude. I started to like towards the end. I was like, I was like, I fuck with that character. Big like, black. The nah, not big black. Um, I don't, I don't know why I can't remember bro name. The muscular nigga, the one that Leon beat his ass. Oh, oh Dion. Dion, that's his name. Yeah, yeah I Dion. fuck with Dion towards the, the last yeah. two seasons. Um, but my favorite main character outside of him with. It's like the whole show, it was between Leon and Joseph. Like, I would just go back yeah. and forth every three, four episodes. It was Leon and um, Jerome, I mean. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I fuck with the both of them. I fuck with Leon's progression as, yeah. like, the nigga that was, like, because Leon started off as a, as a shooter. Yeah, as a crazy he nigga. The Crash out nigga. Yeah, yeah, like, do you remember that? Oh, another one of my favorite moments was when he Franklin was first starting to get the shit together, yeah. and he killed, but he made Leon kill bro in front of all of them, and he was like, this is how we running shit now, blah, blah, yeah. blah, you don't fuck, blah, blah, blah. So, he was oh, a killer. Okay, my fault. Cold moment. Cold moment. When Franklin made bro slit his homie throat? Oh, my God. Yeah, no, nah, that was, oh my God. that was when Man. the progression really started, like, oh, yeah. This He's crazy. crazy. He's crazy. He said, we need to make sure you're not going to snitch. Come do it. What? The nigga on the ground, like, please, bro, don't do this, bro. Like, he said, I'm gonna haunt you. Yes, like, what? Yes. That was super early. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then, okay, season six. Yeah. We're here. What a fucking season of TV, bro. Yo, like, that, I, so, I ain't hurt like that in a minute. I'll start a season for real. I'll start a season one. I mean, my bad. I'll start an episode one because. I was trying to wait to episode eight, watch everything, and then watch the last two episodes. Right. But I think Tyrone texted me and was like, yo, have you watched Snowfall? And I was like, nah. He was like, watch Snowfall, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and this was on episode, I think, three. So mm -hmm. I was like, all right. And I don't want to get spoiled. And I know people, I got to like tell you they watch TV every time they show. So yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, let me go watch this. And I watched them first two, three episodes. And I said, oh, we in for a treat. Yeah. And... It's got to be nerve wracking to be a TV writer, producer, director, actor, all of that because it's like, damn, like what happens if we go miss. perfect six episodes and then miss the last two, like exactly. and ruin the whole season? Yeah. So I was nervous for that, but the 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 every season had been so good that I was like, it's no way they mess this up. But the whole question I was asking was, what do they do with Franklin? Yeah. And I was like, it's no way they kill him. Nope. I was like, it's no way they kill him. But I do think. He's either gonna get away with the money and lose everything, or get away with nothing and gain himself back. Yeah, keep his family. And yes, and wait on that. But the introduction of the KGB, the last episode, the last because he came in last season, and mm -hmm. how he was just working, trying to get away into anybody. He didn't have no loyalty towards anybody. Right. Um. What's the phrase? What's his name? My boy, my boy, my boy. Because he was one of my favorite characters. Oh my god! Also, um, also I yeah. love also. Yeah. So also getting caught. Yeah. 
Also getting caught working with the CIA and then realizing he can't trust the CIA on Teddy, so he got to go to get Franklin to get him out of this, was like, oh, that's yeah. excellent. That's excellent writing. Yeah. Because he knew whoever he went with was either going to have him running for the rest of his life, kill or, him, or, or he wasn't going to feel safe, or he was going to be in jail. Yep. So he had to go with Franklin. Also, mm -hmm. one of my favorite moments now that we're in season six, the... The last moment of Oso and Franklin, when he dropped them off, he took them on the plane and dropped mm -hmm. them off, or if he dropped them off, was so like heartwarming to me because remember like, how they met? They were that was his hero. That was like, a he was a fan that, of that. He was nigga, a fan bro. of that nigga. He got bro, an autograph for that nigga. Yes, bro. that was yeah. how you introduced him. You got an yeah. autograph for bro, and you saw like every time they had an interaction, you saw they had a little bit of soft spot. It, like the money changed them and everything yeah. they stressed, but they had a soft spot for right. each other. And the little, oh, so, before he got back on the plane was like, yeah, he let that nigga. Yeah, for he let that nigga, man. And he real happy. He got, a, he got, him, go to, uh, got him to get away. But the progression of each character's storyline felt so final. Mm -hmm. It was perfect. Because a lot of shows, some shows you'll end and you'll be like, I don't feel like they did that right. They right. could have done this with this character, did this mm -hmm. with this character. But they closed every character right. so perfectly. And that is what I appreciated the most about the season. Right. Every, every, everywhere they took everybody yeah. made sense. Right, yeah. I, I loved it. I loved... So, sadness is... A very great emotion to feel watching something because mm -hmm. that means the writing is great. You mm -hmm. care about the characters. Yes. They're evoking yes. the emotions you want. So the sadness throughout this season yes. was a testament to how locked in we were with these characters. Mm -hmm. For sure. Where some of the saddest moments I, well, it's weird to say, were my favorite mm -hmm. because of how real they were and how well the writing was. Like Wanda coming back and no one wanting anything to do with her. Was it, it's so sad. Like, it hurt. Like, she went back. Was it her grandma crib mm -hmm. or something like that? And, and she, she wanted to give her something. And they literally wanted nothing to do with her. And it was so sad seeing her realities change because that's really how it is for people where you went on this amazing journey. You got yourself right. You went to Africa. You were a new person. But the people you left behind still remember the person you were mm -hmm. when you left. Mm -hmm. It... it Seeing, I, I said it earlier, but seeing the rest of the world react to them was 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 so good. But the ending brought like yo, it's it's so sad for Franklin bro because that nigga really tried, bro. The whole series, he really tried, bro. And it's so it, it's so sad, and I keep saying sad, but it's so sad because. And, and, and a lot of philosophers or psycho people, they say this all the time, like, no matter how far you run from it, you become your parents. And that's where he is now. He is literally where his dad was, where we were introduced to him, where he has a son. He has he knows nothing about being raised by a woman he's not with. He don't have any money. He was a big shot back in the day. And he's lost. And I, one million percent, I understand. One thousand fucking percent. I I completely understand cracking after some shit like that, bro. Cause I really might have lost my mind, bro. Like, so now that we're here, we can talk about it, fam. Her shooting that nigga, that would have broke me right there. No, no, no. So, so before before we get there, <laughs> before we get there, <laughs> the the build up of him. Getting losing the money because he yeah, yeah. lost the money at the end of season five. Right, the whole season He's was to dedicated get to him getting his money back yeah. and mind doing you, extreme shit, bro. Extreme shit, shit that's out of his character. Yep. And mind you, mind you, bro is still up. Yep. Like it's not like Franklin. That seventy three million was all he had. He could have sold all his assets, been a millionaire, been good. Right. But it was the principle of my nigga. I did all this shit, damn near risked my life. My right. family did. Everybody hate me. I and didn't, 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 didn't want to start over. And you going you gonna take everything I got? He yeah. said it in the, when he was talking to him. He was like, "You can let me five million. Nothing, you can bro. Ten. Right. You can let me nothing. The Pentagon print out billions and billions every year. And you gonna tell me my little seventy three million? Right. Means? I'm like, you get the fuck out of here. So, oh, and that whole listen that whole. Shit with him and Teddy. Emmy worthy performance. Bro, beautiful. A beautiful act. That actor. execution was oh my God. Oh okay. My God. I mean, so so okay, so let's so let's back up to there when they were talking about yeah. that scene. I'm, I'm glad you brought it there. So first, I was not of the belief that Teddy was tricking him. I really feel like 
what happened, like he said, was emotional. And that's what was fucking with Franklin, too. Because mm-hmm. it don't make sense to do that. Mm-hmm. That was an emotional decision on a connection that they that they thought they had together. And they really fell out. Mm-hmm. So I think when they came together and was like, bro, let's just split this shit. I really think they believed in that solution. Mm-hmm. But I do just want to throw this out there just for the jokes. But when the nigga came in there with, like, the pot, I thought he was going to cook some crack and make that nigga smoke it. 1,000%. I did, too. I I, th- I, I for did sure too. thought he was gonna make that I nigga too, hit bro. some crack and just leave for a couple days. Yes, and I'm gonna come back two days later when that shit really hits you to see if you got the same answers. But man, that, those final moments from both of them, you really got to see like the same way you talked about how him and Oso had those moments. Him and Teddy had those moments for sure, too, for sure. Like at the end of I forget, it was it season three or four, we was talking about how the LA River was built and stuff. Mm-hmm. You could really feel the connection between them, and they even had the episode "Different Lives" where you know Teddy recruited uh, bro for the CIA, like out of college, yeah, 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 yeah. to show how kindred spirits they were, mm-hmm. and for it to. Pivot so quickly. Like, we spent six seasons trying to get to this. Not six, seven episodes to get to this moment. He literally tied himself up and gave him to the nigga who was finna kill him. It's like, yo, Teddy, look at me. I'm going to hog tie myself to set this nigga up. Risk my entire life. You get all the way here. It work out the way it should. We on the way to get this bread. And she shoot this nigga. I paused the episode. And it, like <laughs> I stood up. I jumped out of my chair, like literally, like leaped and Yo, I, I paused the episode and it was like that homelander meme where it's just that like that 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 e mm-hmm. in the background. I'm just looking like there's no fucking way. There's no way she just fucked the money up like this, bro. Yo. And and oh listen. All time last words, by the way. All time last words. <laughs> she was like, where is he? I shot him. Dumped that nigga body. What you mean? Like, he looked at him and like, are you serious? Like, I, I put two in that nigga. Are you crazy? Put two in America and then buried him. You think I flew to Cuba not to kill that nigga? Be for real. Like, that's really what his face is. Like, be for real, bitch. <laughs> and for that to be the, the catalyst that leads to all of it ending, it was so... I felt I felt so bad for Franklin, bro. It like literally hurt my soul <laughs> for two days. Like every time I thought of it, like it, I felt it in my soul. Bro. I literally could not <laughs> believe that shit, bro. Like Bruh. you really did that to me. And what was making me mad? This was okay. Post post snowfall. What has been make what's been making me mad is what she was saying and what Leon was saying. Like, we trying to help you. I'm broke, my nigga. Help later, bro. Like, y'all can't help me after the fact, fam. It, who is sissy to say what money I should... We was broke before I was doing this shit. You was evicting black people out their homes before I started doing this. We have no other way. Like, it's not like Franklin had other... Like, he really tried. Nigga went to school. Nigga did all that. It ain't work out. Fam, you, you didn't make this money. You should not, you know, I know that's this his mom, you know, she wants the best for him. And I do think money was fucking a lot of his life up. But fam, at the, on the flip side, that nigga got a child on the way. He didn't put his whole life to get to this moment. You know, that shit really broke something inside of him where I, like, I understand now why the last episode went the way it went because, bruh. I think after going through what they had went through in the first five seasons, the shit Franklin saw, like, he just gave up. It, could, it didn't matter. Like, it just didn't matter. <laughs> it just gave, he just gave up. He like, felt like, I felt like he felt like defeated. Yeah. And not like, oh, I lost this one. Yeah, like, it's one. over, like, bro. Like, it's over. Like, all right, none, none of this shit matters. That money's gone. If I did all of this and I came from, I got nothing left to show, yeah. like, not the matters anymore. And so I want to start same same place. So the conversation they had where he was like, um, that I was kind of talking about, where he was like, it's not your money. That conversation, yeah. I think that was episode yeah. eight. It's not your money. Um, yeah. And that was the Pentagon. He was talking about the Pentagon. Yeah. That that yeah. scene, that what we were just talking about, right. that acting for that 20-minute conversation was, oh, my God. That, was it grease on that name? Yes, he was pouring the hot oil. Hot on oil, yeah. Yeah, so that from that moment, when they were splitting it, I agree with you, bro. First up, no, that's the first thing I want to say. 
your soft spot for Teddy, he told you he had a soft spot. Like, he really thought him and Teddy was going to be cool. Facts. Like, he thought Teddy was going to be his dog. Forever. And he was going to be cool. Yeah. And now they was going to have a relationship for the rest of his life, and he was going to be good with that. And you could tell, like, the stealing of him, that shit, like, that shit hurt him. Like, right. that shit really hurt, hurt me. Like, why right, would you yeah. do that to me, bro? Right. And I agree with you. I don't think he was going to trick Franklin. I think he was going to give Franklin that money, and right. they was going to get away, and everybody was going to go on about their business, and Franklin was going to go, go um, yeah. leave. Sissy Saint. <laughs> I feel, I saw a lot of different opinions which is when you know a show was ended correctly. A bunch of different opinions. A yep. bunch of different f- people feel strongly about your opinion. You have felt that. Your name on Twitter right now is a sissy thing hate account. Yep. Um, <laughs> I think what she did was so selfish. Bro, that is the <laughs> most selfish fucking shit, bro. I think... Oh, my God. It is so easy. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah. It's because the mother's watching... And not even just mothers, the parents watching understand yeah. why she did that. The 14, 15 year olds watching, like, yeah. fuck that. Yeah, and fuck us, that shit. We understand, but it's still like, Damn. yo. There like was a time said, and place. You're evicting, you're evicting black people out of their homes. Bro, like, you had no other answers. And then I changed your life. I changed your life to where you don't have to want for nothing Nothing, anymore. bro. You didn't have no problem with my money when we was building businesses and we was owning property. When, when I let you live your dream. You was playing Monopoly when we, I met you. We was playing with motherfucking Monopoly, dog. Right. We was building towers, right. selling properties, flipping right. properties. And on top of that, we was helping the people we was hurting. Right. Like, like, we was fixing the community yeah. at the same time, trying to make people get better. And even, like, everybody that came through that show, it wasn't on crack. Sometimes it was just they was homeless. So right. we was still, I was still doing my due diligence in mm-hmm. helping the people that needed their help if they wanted it. Right. We were doing all of this for seven years. Our, well, at that point, it was five years because they jumped two years in the future. So for five years, we were doing this system, and we worked it fine. And even at the beginning of the season, now the end of season five, it was... We got to kill all these motherfuckers, ma. And you was with them. Yo, you was that's with them. That's my thing. When did when did it not become okay? It became not okay when y'all was in the dungeon and you saw what he was doing to Teddy. Yeah. But you mad at Teddy right. for killing your husband and putting crack in this neighborhood. And you mad your son torturing him to get his 30, 73 M's back? Right. 73 M's back. You mad about him? Adjust for, him adjust for inflation. That's 150 million. That's 150, 200 million we Easy. talking about now in today's time. Easy. Easily, too. Easy. That's what I'm saying. 73 million dollars was like 100 million, bro. bro. Like, there was, so, a, they was making $12,000 a year. Bro. They was making 12 racks bro, a year. He had 73 M's stolen from him, and you was mad. He was doing everything he can. And the other, the last thing is like, it's so frustrating because you're talking about the monster that Franklin built. You let him become that for one. And I understand she said that was my fault. And I understand I take responsibility for that. I shouldn't have done that. But two, he was done. Yeah. He was done. He Literally. just wanted his money. He was going to get out of there with V. He, all the niggas was going to be straight. The crack was going to be left behind. He was out the game. He was going to take his money. He was getting out of L.A. Literally. Why take that from him? Like you said, when he has a baby on the way, mm-hmm. he got a girl he loves. Like, why take that away from him? Yeah. So this. So this. That is, not, is so crazy. So but this, yeah, real last thing. Excellent TV. Great. Excellent TV. I will say. Oh this. my god! I am a nigga <laughs> who see a lot of shit coming. I did not see that shit coming. No, bro, I had no. Not in a that. million years. But. To piggyback off your point, because I hate Sissy Saint with all my heart, <laughs> is at what point do you stop causing problems? Because first, you brought this bum ass snitch nigga into the crib in the middle of the work. This none of this would be a problem if you just wouldn't leave that nigga alone, bro. You brought him back into the house when I told you not to. I'm your son, cool. But at their best friends, as your best friend, I told you not to. And then as the nigga paying all your bills, I told you not to again. And then you did it anyway. And because of that, you put these problems in motion where you can't be trusted as a reliable source anymore. Because to keep it a rack, you could have been touched too. Easy. 
if frankly, if that wasn't it, if Teddy felt like it had to happen, you might have been gone too. If you would have went, it, 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 he pulled up to Cuba. You were sad. You were spared. It, it, it could have been just that easy. But shit, you know, Teddy was magnanimous about it. Handled Cause his business because you wasn't a threat. You were only a threat the entire series to your son. How many times did things go? And this is why I said I understand why he gave up, bro. Because the entire series was him telling you, stop doing this, bro. If you do this, this is what's going to happen. Let us let us do it. Let us handle it at together. We'll figure it out. But no, sissy saying you smarter than everybody. So you gonna bring this drunk into your this drunk bum into your house. This drunk ex black parents while I'm selling crack into the black community. You gonna bring him in this right. house to watch all this happen. And, and then, you know, you know what? It's not like he came in there pulling his weight. He worked at the place I own. He ain't even come in here doing nothing. I do I, Franklin do everything. He run the shelter that this nigga work. His claim to fame is oh yeah, he run the shelter. Nigga, that's my shelter. What you mean? That's what he told them niggas. Y'all know who paid for any of this shit? Everybody get out. What the fuck are y'all talking about, bro? This is not no charity, bro. This shit come out of pocket for real. And every step of the way, she was just so selfish. Like, it, even in the first couple se seasons, where were these complaints then? Where were these complaints when you were sending 100K checks to churches to get your name up in the community so you can bid for shit? That's money out of my pocket. Are you kidding me? Bro, and then, like you said... It's over. My thing is, you wanted to shoot that nigga? We had him tied up in a basement. You could have smoked him when we got... You could have told me up front before we leave. I want to kill Teddy. Well, okay, I have the codes right here. You can kill him now. We can go get the money. But no, you were being selfish. You had a plan. You say, you know what my plan is? I'm going to shoot this nigga in broad daylight. In front of another CIA officer. And go to jail for the rest of my life. So you won, right? You won. You won, sissy. Everybody, everyone's like, man, I wonder who's going to jail. You went to jail for no reason. I just spent two weeks trying to figure out how to kidnap this nigga for you to shoot him in broad daylight anyway. We could have smoked him and the KGB agent and got the money without leaving the crib. But no, because you had a plan. You were so selfish. You didn't want to tell nobody the plan. Because you know why? Because I was going to tell you that's stupid, sissy. I was going to tell you to your face that's dumb. Because the nigga's dead already. You, sp he you spent 20 years without him when I was getting raised. Well, the next 20 years, you'll be fine. I promise. You was with him for five years. You 15 million, dog. Bruh, you can go get another husband, bro. You can go get another husband, dog. dog I just, got grandkids to think about. Bro, like, you have grandkids. You got think. grandkids to think like, about. Bro. I just don't. I don't get it. And then on top of that, the last thing, because it's damn near 10 o'clock, but the last thing I will say is Franklin got done so bad by everybody. It be your own and niggas, bro. He tried to take care of everybody. He told Louie, don't go behind my back for, for, for Teddy. It's going to turn out bad. It ruined their whole relationship. Ruined the business. All of that started because Louie went behind his back. Literally. Louie couldn't deal with being just an average millionaire. She had to go do, she had to go get the power and feel the power Listen, and get I, the respect. I, she I, couldn't just deal with that. I, sissy made it to And that. Jerome told her to stop to. Jerome told him. Literally. Jerome said, don't do this shit. Bruh. And you did it anyway. Franklin told you not to do it. You did it anyway. Yep. And it ruined everything. Mm -hmm. And then Lignon was an excellent friend from Franklin to start to finish. I say the only thing left for him to do was either give him some money at the end of that or take him to Africa. With take, that's what I was going to say. But at the, so, so, so to piggyback on what you just said. First, Jerome had been talking that shit for three or four seasons. He said, stop bringing shit to my door. He talked about that before Lou even got shot. She was like, you out here provoking people? So I'm like, you bringing this shit to the front door for what? You are causing these issues. Why? And the way she explained it, uh, listen, Sissy Saint made it the whole segment. We ain't say no misogynistic shit, so I'm not going to say nothing about Louie. But God, I, I really wish somebody told her, shut the fuck. What do you mean nobody respects you? You're selling drugs. Why do you want people to know you're selling drugs? Who, what drug dealer wants other people to be like, oh yeah, biggest drug dealer in the city right there. Look, just Respect. walked out. Yeah. Respect, queen. Yo, what's good, OG? <laughs> like, when the, when the last time you put in some you work? You're a multimillionaire off crack. Yo. Why yeah. do you want to be known? Bruh. Hey, hey, yo, you know what? Even if you do want to be known, when the last time you put in some work? When the last time you got your hands dirty with any work? 
Jerome got bodies niggas have seen. There's a reason niggas respect Jerome outside of him looking like Ray Lewis. He got bodies. <laughs> he got work, nigga. Like, Jerome been around for a minute. What have you done to earn any of this respect? And Jerome was known in the hood. Like, Literally. Jerome was Uncle Jerome at the start of season one, nigga. Who knew Jerome Yo. was? And, and Sissy, bro. And Leon. Man, it was just. That's why I tie this on episode. Be, it's, it be your own niggas for real because I really felt the hurt in his voice when Leon told him no. Because, frankly, I'm right, bro. Like, you're eating because of me. All this shit is us, my nigga. Like, this is what we did. I put you on. You running a project that I ran. I that's your, I gave you that assignment, nigga. Like, this I, This is everything. You would have no, nothing because of me. Your wife, you wouldn't know her. She would be a completely different person. All this, bro. And that's just, you just going to dip? Because my mama didn't want me to have this money? My, 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 my mom, who just had a mental breakdown and shot a nigga in broad daylight, going to jail for the rest of her life. You on her side? What you mean? It, it's, it, it's so I sad, bro. bro. It's so Yo, sad. Like, it hurts, bro. It, it truly and, hurts me. And it written. Because it makes, like, everything makes so much sense. Like, we're, makes, we're, we're like, why? Why this? Why yeah. this? But, like, you look at Louie, and it's like, okay, why would you, why do you want so much power? Yeah. It's because you a black woman in 1980, right. and nobody in, fucking respects you, you. And you were a stripper first. And you were a stripper first. You can't get nobody respect you and see you nothing other than this stripper bitch yep. who Jerome bitch. You can't get nobody to see that. So that shit is driving her insane right. to where she's doing stupid shit to try to yeah. prove her point. Um... Of Leon. Leon only did that because he, this whole, for two, three seasons, Leon's just been trying to do what's right. And in his heart of heart, he thought doing what Franklin's mom did was, was right. right. Yeah. At the, uh, Franklin's mom. Yo, like, he killed my husband. Right. My son. I just watched my son torture this man for three days. My son ain't been the same person in three years now. Right. Everything don't change about the dynamic. Everybody, I love my brother's dead because of him. Like you looking at it as we looking at it as all of this money is because of you, and she looking at it as all, all these death. people dead yep. and all all my family broken because of this. So mm -hmm. fuck this money, right? Um, and then the last who's the last person? And Veronica, the beautiful thing, V, uh, Veronique, my bad. Yeah. The the thing about her was she told uh, her mama, Franklin has been good to me and he loves me. He has not put his hands on me. And the moment he puts his hands on me, I leave. He she choked that bitch, and he was she was gone. gone. Took everything yeah. out of that bitch, yeah. and it was like everything like we're saying makes sense from a fan point of right, view. But yeah. like, if you really get inside these characters, it's like damn, like I can kind of see why you would make that decision yeah, in that situation. Fact, yeah. And that's just it's amazing, right? Yeah. Um, a couple moments from season six though. The last episode when he had the breakdown in the jail and was like fuck you, bitch. like that break. Yeah. yeah, that shit was amazing, and the him killing Teddy's dad on the phone. Oh my god! Yeah, nah, I thought it was it. He <laughs> killed Daddy. He killed that nigga dad on the phone. I said, "Yeah, put some heat on that nigga. Put some pressure <laughs> on that nigga." But, Excellent TV, man. Um, so we can close it with this. Another little moment I literally just remembered. I wanted to bring up. Um, maybe season two. He's talking to the cop. What was bro name? The black guy. He ended up killing the cop. Uh, girl, old girl, dad. I literally could not tell you, bro. I don't, I know who exactly you're yeah. talking about. Um, Shawty old dad. Yeah, Shawty dad. He said, "How you sleeping at night, Franklin? Like a baby, baby like a baby." <laughs> Season five and six didn't sleep a wink, and that's the little things in the show they really don't. So they show you him not sleeping for mm -hmm. real, but you don't know why. It's, you mm -hmm. don't know why that shit ringing off in your head. Yeah, because up until that point there was no problems for real. Mm -mm. It was just regular street nigga shit. Yeah, now, and bro. Now it's like he really stressed him, man. It's, man, that's perfect TV. If you did watch that and you've never watched Snowfall before, I hope we did a good enough job explaining Facts. that to where you go watch that entire show. Um, I'm going to rewatch it again later this year. I um, have I I have it just on on my TV sometimes, okay. depending on what's going on yeah, for real.